There you go. I couldn't even use Max. This one's so much stronger than my cheap Harbor Freight. I went at the Min because at the Max, I started eating through the metal. You see? So I should probably been Min, but with the thick angle iron, I didn't think it would do it. So there you go. Yes, I know. My welds are doo-doo. They're doo-doo. Um, but it's going to hold. I've got to hit up the top of here. And around that, but uh, I haven't welded in years, so I might get better as I go. See, my as I that was my last weld I did. Look, it's not as filthy junk, and yes, there's a lot of chat over there. And I clean that up, but that one's not as bad. And then that was my second to last, it got a little better. That bottom one was first, I touched it up a little afterwards, but it was real bad at first. I went over here and I ate that up, and I turned it to mid, and I went there. And I was trying to pull it right there, and I didn't pull enough. I made a mess. Um, I need to lay a trailer down, but I wanted to put these under. And I'm going to do a few more like this, so it'll give me some more time till I can go buy some new expanded steel and re-weld some tacks on here. Just doop, 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 little spots. All right? Because look, I got that junk look. Oh, Wolverine ate my gate. A little werewolf. All right? You see, it's getting worse. So, got to take care of that. So I would give it a really good review. And it, I mean, I didn't work that long per well, but I didn't have to do like a huge amount of time out or anything. It never overheated. Um, it's got a light that lets you know if you overheat, which the Chicago Electric doesn't. It also has a nice cooling fan to help it not overheat. It helps that I'm using the Lincoln Electric wire though. It works a lot better. All right. So there we go. That's my review of this bad boy. It works pretty good if you see it. It's like one of the best reviewed on Amazon that doesn't always mean things because they cheat reviews if you click them sometimes you'll see the welder and you'll get there like these are the best gloves I've ever owned and you're like, well, I love the purse you know so it's not actually for that so hope this helps you with your things but your welder yours will probably look way better I mean they're a duty you can comment like you can't weld I know I haven't done it for years it's horrible but I'll get better uh, as I relax and get to go so by the end I might have some clean looking welds maybe so there you go. That's the Viva Home MIG 130 fluxless or gasless MIG welder. It's like 120 or 130 or something on Amazon. It's not a bad price. It's the price of like the Harbor Freights, but they don't work. Maybe their new ones do. The Chicago Electric one doesn't. The green ones look like they're a little better, but they cost a lot more. All right. So there we go. As you can see, I had to scuff up the paint. If not, it wasn't going to weld right. Uh, had to get some of that ground going to there. See, so paint was blocking it. So there we go. I like it. I mean, it's it's sturdy. It's gonna hold. I don't know if the the metal itself is gonna hold my mower though, but it should be able to. All right. So there we go. I don't know. I'm rambling on, but as always, I'm RJ. Seize the day each and every day. As always, seize the day each and every. Yeah, I'm RJ. Seize the day each and every. I don't know. Usually they're recording for me. I know. Um, please like subscribe. Every little bit helps right now, you know, so I can afford to buy some of that expanded steel and weld this because it looks like duty. Look at it. It's, just... <laughs> it's bad. All right, that's it. I'm going to sit here, crack me open another one after I finish that bad boy off. And like, damn, you ain't drinking a real beer. Whatever. They taste delicious. If I want to get trashed, I'll drink some Southern Comfort Hunter Proof. Mmm. Mmm. There we go. Or some Bud Light Platinum. Now, if I want to get trash, I'll drink some Guinness. All right? That's what I drink. This and Guinness. There we go. That's it. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. It's me, Arjun. Today, I'm going to show you how to repair some mesh on your trailer gate when they go. If the trail places don't usually tack enough. I didn't have a welder when it got this bad. but uh, So, I got this new Viva Home 130 MIG. Flux for gasless welder. So what we're doing, we're measuring out each area. I'm at a 13 and a half, got it right here. I got some cut off blades, three inch cut off blades on my air. Cut off the <laughs> Got the measurements. Go through here, it takes me about 20 minutes per one with the cut, the measuring, everything. Uh, and uh, welding a new one on. I turn that off, but it's like, but I'll show you some here, okay?
power this fluid. I know I'm all over the place. It's because I look at my blade. It's, for some reason, it won't set all the way. This one won't. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's going wobbly. Wobbly, wobbly. All right. So I'm going to shower this. Shower this. Shower this. I've cut off the side piece and I've scoured, you can just bend it. Hopefully you get a clean cut. It can speed you up a little, but you gotta be careful if your scour is a half inch wide like mine, it kinda wants to go wherever it wants to go. So I'm getting in there again. wearing them but I burnt my lace off there today a little chad went down cut them in half I should go put them on anyway just because they're putting feet because I got a little burn so actually we're gonna do that real quick alright hope we get some good welding gloves okay I'm gonna take this bad boy put them right here it's crooked okay. I'm trying to get as again yeah that's pretty close okay Hold it down. And you got the camera over here where we can see where I'm going. And then, yeah. Okay, and you look away. Ready? Sloppy, sloppy weld. Okay. Sloppy weld. Um, I was having trouble holding it for some reason. They were still getting in that little hole in my boot. Got bad luck. Okay. So now, you ready to look away? I'm going to head a little over here so I got some and then I'm going to go. It doesn't do reach all the way. What? It doesn't reach all the way. This? Mm -hmm. It does. Okay. It never reaches all the way. Okay. That's not how it works. I mean, it can, but it doesn't on my cuts. Ready? Mm -hmm. Look away. All right. There we go. A little better well. I'm a little thick. For some reason, I'm tired. I'm having trouble holding my arms steady. I'm like wobbly. The other day, fine. Now, not. Nah. So, you know, you get two little spots, hit it up, and then we're gonna zoot zoot. And I like, I like this stuff that I've had. It's just because I had it already, but these holes in the middle make it real nice that I can hit in the middle of the hole. And I just go straight in and fill it. And it's another spot that holds it, all right? So, I'll come back in a minute when I'm all done. You can take a look at my sloppy, sloppy welds. Okay. You ready? Mm-hmm. 
Here's my sloppy wells there, buddy. Sloppy, sloppy, okay? I don't know why I'm doing a lot worse today. As you can see, come here. They were a little better the other day, so. That was my first year. Like, look here. I'm not doing better. Look how clean. 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 Don't make fun of me. They're not clean. I know. Shut up. They're not horrible like that guy. You know? Yes, I know. You can grind them and make them look prettier, but then that means you can't weld them. All right. So that's what I got. I only have one pound spool of the Lake Electric, so I gotta get my other one out. That's it, you know? It's a really good little welder. Packed it up and these all held up all week under the truck, under the mower, which weighs what, like 700 pounds? 600, 800, somewhere in there. So, it's good and I see. I don't have to worry about that falling down. I'm gonna hit one here too. Um, if I do this, I can hopefully get another gear or two out of the trailer before I have to buy a whole bunch of mesh and mesh the whole gate, which I will need to do. Okay, my old welder didn't work right, and I didn't have one for like, what, six, seven, eight years? So, that's it. Hope you liked the video. I know it's not much, but it's a pretty good welder. I'll put a link to it in the below, and I'll put a link to the Lincoln Electric uh, wire that I use. Don't buy the Harbor Freight uh, wire. It doesn't work right. It doesn't weld good. It's like poo poo. All right, that's it. As always, I'm RJ. See you today, each and every day. Please like and subscribe. I'm a little helps right now. Bye-bye. All right, everybody, I took off that blade that I showed you in because I was tired of doing all the wobbles. You see how bad it was? So I switched blades. It was just that blade was off. See it? Boom, boom, boom. See? Cuts faster. <laughs>